Okay, so filtering. Swarm currently supports three types of filters. Affinity filters, constraint filters, and resource filters. But don't be put off by so many types. They're all really simple while still being really powerful. Now, at a really high level, affinity filters say things like start this container on whichever node is running ABC container or XYZ container. And the same for images. So, run this new container on whichever node already has a particular image pulled locally. So, it's really just a way of saying run a new container next to a particular other container or image. Right, well, resource filters. These allow us to specify things like run this container on any node that's got a particular resource free. So maybe a network port, I don't know, let's say a node that's got TCP port 443 free and available. Then there's constraint filters. And in my opinion, this is where the cool stuff happens. Now, constraint filters come in two varieties, standard constraints and custom constraints. The standard constraints are all based on metadata returned by the docker info command. So, here's the output of a fairly standard docker info command. And right now, we can filter based on node name, uh, which apparently I've snipped off of this output, but you can filter on node name, as well as storage driver, execution driver, kernel version and OS version. But that's only the start. Constraint filters let us assign custom labels to our Docker hosts. Well, actually, the Docker daemon when it starts. And this really is where the action is. So we can label our Docker daemons at startup with, honestly, anything we want, right? So let's say you're running a gig in Amazon Web Services. Well, you can label daemons according to which region they're in, which availability zone, what their instance type is, which VPC they're in, the subnet, whatever, yeah? And you know what? Maybe which build they're part of, blue or green, if you deploy blue-green builds. Dead simple, right? It's just a label or a tag that we apply to the daemon, but man, it is powerful. For me, right, it's these custom labels that are a massive enabler when it comes to kicking your Docker deployment and your app instructure onto the next level. So, that's the gist with filters. Receive a command to run a container on a specific node, on the same node as another container, maybe on a node running a particular kernel version or a particular storage driver, or maybe a node with a custom label saying that it's on DigitalOcean or Microsoft Azure, yeah? Just tell Swarm and it'll filter out all the nodes that don't meet the criteria and leave you with a list of matches. Then, it's over to scheduling to decide which of those nodes to run the container on. So, on that note, should we go talk about scheduling?